Greetings, Tubey Views, it's Yellowbelly here, and uh, with a little bit of a review. Um, not a shit game review, it's actually a good game review. This was re a request by Novabug himself. He came across this game during his tape testing and challenged myself and Rachel to do a review on it. Now, I've been trying to catch up on videos, and uh, yeah, it's... Uh, Hopefully uh, this is okay for you, buddy, and uh, let's have a look at it. Okay, so here we go. We have a 1991 game from Atlantis Software, which was a British software company, and it's called Super Kid in Space. Now, in 1990, they released a game called Super Kid. So uh, this is, I assume, some sort of sequel. Now then, the uh, beautiful loading screen there, and one thing to point out is this game actually was a budget. Now, here we have the Blue 2 playing on the old AY, and I'll just show you, just let me pause it. If you have a look there, that's all the things you collect. Yes, the aim of this game is it's a collectathon, and what you have is you've got to collect these detonators. As you can see down there, you've got ammo, grenade ladders, and super energy. Uh, they're all health. You've got door switches. Let's continue. But it's the detonators you are collecting. You've got to collect a number of those. Now, if you have a look on the next screen, and I shall pause it again, there is what you're against. Uh, you, they all are worth points. You have Contraguard, Intraguard, Electroballs, Paradroid, Retrobots, and Landmines. Now, there is a lot of Landmines. If you stand on those, they blow and uh, take off your energy. Now, then, let's have a look, see, shall we? You start off with... Bit of a lunar lander type kind of thing where you got to land your spaceship. Uh, you choose your stage, uh, stage one. It's five stages, and basically you got to land this uh, craft. So let's get it over here. And oh no, I didn't manage it. Uh, it's mainly for points, mainly for points. So here we go. Now, as you can see, right up top there is the one of the detonators I need. Now to get up these things you have a rope which is a lovely new mechanic uh, you press the space uh, sorry the enter key and you'll see it appears, it comes up and up you go and you've got a number of these to collect so let's crack on so you need this rope quite a lot to uh, get through uh, you have to excuse the high pitch whine that's an emulator problem now, if you press down, you can throw bouncing bombs there to get rid of various things. But yeah, the um, controls are fine. The graphics are nice. Uh, you got these bouncing bombs, which are handy. Now, if, as you can see there, there's a little X on the old screen, and what that does is make it forces you to jump. So you've just got to be a little bit careful on that. See? Oh, and I landed on a detonator and lost some health. But, um, yeah, very different game mechanic to usual. Graphics are beautiful. Uh, lovely and colourful, which is uh, great. Bonus, really. There we go, I've got him. And you see there is a switch, a door switch there. Going just down there as soon as you go on it. There we go. And then got him. Try and get over that. There's another one on detonator I need. Which I've got. Yes, it's a lovely game, this. I really, really like this. I would have been extremely happy buying this on budget. I'd... It's slow-paced. Well, you've got, to, you've got to bear in mind that... Yeah, 
got him. That uh, it's a budget. It's a budget game. How many budget games did you buy that were absolutely shite? This isn't one of them. So let's get across there. I think I've got one more Decinator to find. Let's get rid of him. Bosh. Yeah, if you press down, you throw these bombs, and you'll see me count going down as I move along. Again, sorry about the uh, the noise. Oh, I hit that one. Never mind. It's an emulator issue. Sometimes it's a bit fiddly to get the rope, but once you've got it, you've got it. Oops. There we go. Oh, oh right. Yes, they do respawn the. Um, they do respawn uh, the enemies, and oh, there's a there's a, something to collect. Let's hit that. I can collect that. There we go. That's up my grenades again. Now then, now there's one up there, so let's go and get that as well. Bum, 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 bum. And that. Just need some now. See what I mean about it respawning on each level. Boom, boom. Now these doorways, the enemies come through. If I wait for a minute, you'll see one there. They're just portals. You can't go in them. You can't do anything with them. It's literally just um, there's my ship. It's literally just a, kit, a portal for them. Oh, I hate that. I'm oh, not so worried, not so worried. Ah, there's a canister there. Oh, there's a puddle, so I know some enemies are going to come up at some stage out of there. Don't like that. And yeah, if you can see the SK thing. Oh, I can't. I'm stuck there. There we go. I think there's one more down the other side. Somewhere. Ah, now there's some energies which I desperately need because I'm only on 28. So let's get definitely get that. As you can see, you can. Shoot these enemies. There's Alpha. I think that's that laser. So I can grab that. Yeah. And there's another one. Let's get that. And that should be the last one, if I recall correctly. Might as well get the. That. Yep. Now all you have to do is, once you've collected the required number, is go back to your spaceship, which I shall do. It is simple, the game. Um, there's my spaceship. And I go to my spaceship, and there we go. Complete. And there's one stage done. Awesome. So there we go. There's Super Get in Space, the first level done for you. It's a simple game, uh, but you've got to remember, it's a budget game, and it's awesome. I love it. I think it's a fantastic game. I love the rope mechanic. It's different, and uh, in an age of platformers, making them different is, is uh, a good thing in my books. Graphics, let me see. I'm definitely giving the graphics an 8 out of 10. I think they're superb, lovely colours, and... Uh, listen, sound is again a 9 out of 10, lovely tune throughout, uh, I didn't play much of it on this vid, but uh, listen to it, it's really nice and jolly tune longevity I could see you playing this all the way through the levels and then coming back to it at a later date to do it all again again you've got to, you've, you've got to remember this is a 2.99 game, a budget game and it's awesome 
for that kind of money. I've bought full price games that are nowhere near as much fun as this. Uh, so yeah, definitely got like a nice little uh, Lunar Lander changing thing in between the levels, just where just for a little bit of a change up. But again, awesome, awesome presentations, fantastic, lovely, uh, colorful loading screens, and again tunes. Yeah, this is an awesome game. I really like this game. Um, I think uh, this is one for you, Chris, to do a long play on, definitely to get to the end. And if you bought this back in the day, you would be really happy, really happy with it. So let's give it an overall score. I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. Only because I want more. After you've completed it, you do want a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, 8 out of 10, super game. Certainly a hidden gem. Uh, I won't be covering this in my suit me hidden gem uh, videos because it's I've just covered it now. But yeah, highly recommended. Uh, and I know um, Rachel is uh, going to do a quick vid on this as well. So uh, I'll uh, if she does, uh, I'll link into that if it's up by the time I put this video up. So there we go, sir. Field Marshal Novaburg, uh, mission complete. Review done for you, sir. And again, I challenge you to do a long play of this. So, with that, as always, yellow belly out.